Hey, it's Ox Dear Luke here and welcome back to the series on the Ford Cougar. Now this car is looking so much better after the last video where we took the exterior from filthy to fresh. But this car is still 13 years old and there's still a few minor cosmetic imperfections. And that's exactly what we're going to be tackling in this video. The first cosmetic imperfection that I need to remove is the scuff to the rear bumper. Because this is the most obvious thing that someone's going to see when they come up to this car. And it looks like another car in the past has gently scraped this one because it's a little bit of red paint on there. So I need to remove that paint transfer before I do anything else with the bumper. And to do that I'm going to use a melamine sponge which is sometimes called a magic eraser. Throughout this video you're going to see me make extensive use of this sponge. And what these are, they're slightly abrasive and it's going to allow that paint transfer to be taken off the paint without causing any significant damage to the paint underneath. Sure, it will dull the paint slightly, but it's nothing that a slight polish afterwards wouldn't restore. To fix the actual scuff, I'm just keeping this cheap and cheerful and using a touch-up pen. Because, firstly, I got this free because my neighbour next door, Kath, she got rid of her Ford Focus, which was the same year and the same colour as this Cougar. And also I think it's the best way going forwards for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if I was to paint the edge of the bumper, I would also have to paint the rear quarter. And that's probably going to have to go into a body shop and it starts to become a big job. Because it's right on the edge of a panel and we'd have to blend them in to make sure that the paint matches. Or I'd have to go and get another bumper for the car and that's going to cost between 50 to 100 pounds and all the labour that goes uh, along with this. So instead I'm just going to use a touch up pen because it's going to take your eye off the damage Sure, it's not going to look perfect, but bear in mind, this is a £500 car and you really have to ask yourself the question of how far do you go with it? At the moment, you see in a clip from the previous video where I cleaned the Cougar and no matter what I tried with the front wheels, I just could not get them clean. I tried a brake cleaner, I tried a fallout remover, melamine sponges, you name it, it just wouldn't come off. So in this video, I'm going to have to resort to some more extreme measures and actually tackle this with a scouring pad, which is actually quite scurvy. And it is going to damage the paintwork on the wheel, don't get me wrong on that, but there is just no other way I can get this off. Now, some of this scratching will come out of a good buff, uh, but it's one of those processes that does take a bit of time. So literally, I just sat down, stuck my earphones in my ears, and just plodded on with it. Now, throughout this video, you may have noticed I'm wearing these new earphones, and that brings me on to the segue for today's sponsor, OpenRock. After testing these out for the last couple of weeks, I've come to the conclusion that these are excellent work and exercise orientated earphones. Because of their on ear design, it means that I can hear everything that's going on around me, which means they are safe in environments where I need to listen to what's happening. It also stops me with dirty hands and working on cars and taking them in and out of my ears, which wouldn't be very hygienic. They are IPX5 water resistant, which means they can stand up to rain and sweat, and have four noise cancelling microphones on them, so if you want to take calls and listen to them for long periods of time, these are fantastic for those scenarios as well. I've done a few long calls, they sound great. Couple that with uh, an adjustable moldable design, which can accommodate different ear sizes, you can get the perfect fit every single time. Finally, one thing I love about these as well is the charging case, which gives 60 hours charge. That's crazy. That is an entire room's worth of listening on one charge right there. If you want to check these out yourself, there is an Amazon affiliate link in the description below.
to get rid of the curb marks, I actually just took some 80 grit sandpaper and sanded them down. The alloy wheels are quite soft and an aggressive sandpaper will actually take a lot of these marks out, as you can see in this before and after shot. Then it was a case of undoing some of the damage that the Skyrim pads did to the wheel. Uh, it's not going to get it all out, but I'm just going to go over with the compound and try and buff the wheel back to somewhat of a decent standard. I spent maybe 10 to 15 minutes on this. And as you can see, there is a, a reflection in the wheel. It, it's got a lot of a shine back. And then, of course, around the outside where I sanded it, there was no paint on there at all. So I just took some wheel silver, stuck a paintbrush in there and just touched up the outside. Crude, I know, but from a couple of feet back, you actually can't see the curb marks very easily, and it looks a lot better than it did before. Again, the Malamine sponges were fantastic for removing the marks on the back of the car and this is exhaust soot, which in the last video you've seen was the bane of my existence. Uh, in this one, I actually just left a slight mark on the bottom because I actually bought a new badge and I wanted to use a slight just mark on the paintwork to line the new badge up. However, I lost the badge and I had no idea where it's gone, so there's meant to be a new badge coming, just not in this video. And I bought a new Ford badge for the back. And I didn't lose that, but I did lose the footage. Or maybe I didn't actually record the footage to begin with. Either way, unfortunately, I can only give you the before and after. To fix the condensation in the back lights, I literally left it on my radiator for about two days in the living room and it was fixed. Well there we have it guys, one finished Ford Cougar cosmetically and I'm so happy about this car stained out. I just like it when you got something dirty that's destined for the scrapyard and you fix it up and you know it's going to have a few more years life to give to someone and it just gives me a nice warm feeling inside when you see that type of result and this has been one of the most satisfying transformations I think on this channel, at least for me. And I, I just think, you know, considering this car was £500, it's come up really, really well. Of course we could have gone further, but... I've got to bear in mind the price point of this car, how much, how much time do I want to stick in in terms of diminishing returns, and I think at the moment we've hit the sweet spot. This is a nice clean car for someone, we just got to fix a couple of mechanical issues and I'd be ready to go. And I think this will serve someone nicely for the next few years. So 
to think that I spent maybe £50 fixing them up so far, that's all I've got about in it, £50 to £60, pounds, and that includes all the stuff stuck on the paintwork, the new badges, and genuine, Vans new, fitted Ford floor mats that I got off eBay for £13. Pounds. And that was an absolute steal, by the way. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm excited to see what the mechanical thing's going to turn out like. But once it's done, I think it's got to be ready to go to its new owner. And it's going to be a decent profit in this car at the same time as well. So if you want to see that video of fixing this car up, you know what to do. Just hit that subscribe button and the video will land in a couple of weeks. But until then, thank you for making it this far. I'll see you soon. And as always, take care.